In this video, I'll be showing you guys a much better and structured way on creating commands. Before that, if you don't know what this is, this is called a command handler. I'll link a video about this command handler in the description below. Alright, so here's a comparison. So this is how we typically use to create commands. And this is the new method. Okay, so we're actually exporting a class instead of an object. And as you can see here, we actually need to add this params for IntelliSense. And if you don't know what IntelliSense is, let me just show you an example. So if you want to do client and do a full stop, okay, you can see all of the options. But if I remove the params, let me just show you guys, if I remove this and I try to get the options again, it's not going to give me the options anymore. All right. So if I add it back once again, oops, what am I doing? And I come back here. I can see that all of the options are back. But with a class command handler, because everything is handled internally within the package itself, and then all you need to do is interaction dot, you can get all the options, client dot, you can get all of the methods and options. The first advantage is we get IntelliSense and we don't need to do this anymore. We just need to have a single import. All right, the next thing is we can only need to use required properties in the round function. So as you can see here, uh, if I don't need the client, I can just remove it and I only can have interaction. But in my previous handler, okay, you don't, you can't do this. You would need to add client every single time. Here, let me just undo that. And then lastly, uh, it's way more organized in my opinion because uh, as you can see here, it takes way less code Okay, compared to this and it's exporting a class uh, which makes more sense in my opinion okay one last thing that you can do is you can actually see there's options in here okay uh in order to trigger this option box thing all right you just gotta do control space and it will give you all the options and now you can just do user permissions you can see that you can choose all your permissions but last time when i was exporting an object okay when i do this you see, I can't get any uh, autocomplete and for this, I can get all the autocomplete just because everything is handled internally. All right, to use class commands, you need to install Recon Alex version 2.5.1 and above. So let me just do npm view Recon Alex. Okay, you can see that the latest version is 2.5.1. Make sure you have 2.5.1 or older. So you can have like version three, version four, Right, just make sure it's higher than 2.5.1. Okay, to install the latest version, simply do npm i recon lx and then add latest. Okay, so once it's done installing, just head on to package.json and you can check it uh, in your dependencies. So you want to search for recon lx. So if recon lx is there with a higher version than 2.5.1, you should be good. All right, so now I'm going to create a command using the class command handler. First thing you want to do is you want to export it, module exports, and I can just do new command. Okay, it's going to automatically import it for me. Okay, if it doesn't import, you just got to write this line over here. Const command equals require recon x. Okay, which is really short compared to the Discord.js line where you import all the things you need from Discord.js. And then uh, you're just going to pass the options. So now you can see that I have all of the options. So the name, I'm just going to make it test description I can just make it a test command uh, we can add a run function okay instead of doing client instead of doing this okay we can just do like this and then we can just get interaction like that okay uh, do keep in mind that you can also flip them around it will still work because it's just an object Okay, in this case, I'm not going to use client, so I'm just going to remove it. Okay, so I only need interaction. If you have any other questions, feel free to join the Discord server. Links will be in the description. All right, so let me just create a simple follow-up. Uh, Woohoo. Tremendous. All right, so let's just test this out. All right, so we can just do slash test. And as you can see here, it's facing an error. It's not sending us the response back. Why? because we actually need to configure something before it actually works. So to fix this, simply go back to your code editor and then you want to search for the interaction create.js. So as you can see here in our run function, we actually take in an object. So to fix this, 
we're going to scroll down. We're going to change the whole thing into an object. All right. So just add the curly braces around the parameters or the options. All right. So now if I test it again, it should work fine. Woohoo. Now we get our response. All right. For the next part, I'm just going I'm just going to create a simple echo command. So it basically echoes what you're going to say. So let me just quickly do that. Uh, we can just create a new command in slash command slash info. I don't really, it don't really matter. So echo.js sit here, module.exports, new command, name will be echo, description will be echo your message. Okay, as you can see here, it's actually really quick because I have options. Async. Oh, we actually need options. So options. Okay, now we can see that we have all of these options for us. So we don't need to type this and guess ourselves. Name is going to be a string. Oops, why am I saying? It's going to be a message. Uh, we can add a description. A message to echo. Type. String. And if you don't know what what I'm doing right now, if you don't know what option is, I highly recommend you to check out my slash command tutorial. Links will be in the description. And lastly, we can add a required property, which is going to be true because we're going to echo the message. All right, so now we're just going to echo the message. So let me just create a function, interaction, because we only need interaction for now. And then we're just going to do cost message equals to interaction, the options dot get string and we can just pass in message okay so it matches here we just want to get this uh option and then we can just follow up with the message so interaction dot follow up oops follow up message to echo the message or you can just do like uh echoed message and then you we'll pass in message like this your choice all right so let's just test this out slash echo Message will be hello there. Okay, as you can see here, I could message hello there. So yeah, as you can see here, it works just fine and it's pretty cool. All right, so one more thing that you need to take note of when using this system is you need to convert any other command to use object in the run function. So what I mean that, what I mean is you actually need to add curly braces to every single run function. So if I try to run the ping command, so if I open the ping command, as you can see here, it's from the old format. All right, we don't have the curly braces in here. So let me just try to run the ping command. All right, it's going to give us an error. Okay, you can see that I cannot read property ping of undefined because this is no longer a tree parameter function. It's all in a single object. So to fix this, you're just going to wrap them with a curly braces. So you can just do like this, delete it, and just paste it like this. Okay, so once again, you just want to wrap them in a curly brace and it should be fine. Oh, one more thing. I don't know why am I doing client or interaction or follow up. It shouldn't be this. It should be interaction or follow up. All right, so let's just test this out again. Once again, if you're not using arcs, you can just remove it. So it's going to make a code way more cleaner. All right, so let's just test this out again, slash ping. All right, we can get our ping back. So yeah, this is how you can use class commands which I really recommend and will be using in my next videos. So yeah, if you have any other questions or you want to suggest a new video, feel free to join the Discord server. Links will be in the description. Or on that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye!